My wife keeps bugging me about the many historically inaccurate light bulbs in your house. She'll learn to ignore them just like I did. So the Ringling Brothers Circus closed earlier the same year this movie was released, and I've wondered if that contributed to this movie's success. I also have some questions. Is this the most well-behaved audience? I can't even get my friends to meet up at the same time, but these strangers are stomping so well together it makes me question a lot of my friendships. Anyone else getting a Knight's Tale vibe? There's going to be a lot of anachronisms, aren't there? Was this a vision or a foreshadowing? It seems like he is just fantasizing, but there's some stark accuracy, including some of his performers. Phineas, hurry up. How can he hurry in those shoes? Wipe that muck off. What muck? Clearly, he keeps himself very clean. If he's at all dirty, it's probably just because you haven't laundered his clothes. Hey, did your dad fix your shoes on the way over here? Why is there a hole in the bottom of this bowl? Is he also learning tea manners in case he ever meets a cup? How much tea did you sip? Also, is this spit-take-worthy comedy back then? The 1800s must have sucked. When did you take your blazer off? Seems like you were walking away with it. Smooth guy. Are they allowed to touch hands? I'm pretty sure unsupervised walks and touching with ungloved hands are big no-nos back then. But I did just see strobe effect about 50 years before the light bulb was invented, so... Where are they? Why is this place abandoned? How long has it been run down because it can't be that old? Are you kids not concerned about hobos? How old are your parents? They should be in their late 20s, 40s tops, but they look like they're approaching 60. Anyone else getting Snow White vibes? Is that gonna work? They still won't mail it without a stamp. Look, it wasn't even sealed. Did he really work on the railroads? I understand that this is a romanticized version of Barnum's life, and he has a huge influence on the entertainment industry. And you could maybe give him a pass on certain actions and his treatment of animals because it was a different time. But I think it's important that you know that he made his first bit of showbiz money exploiting a loophole to own a blind and paralyzed black woman as his first exhibit. But you know, railroads sound better for a musical. Suicidal much? Is this New York City? I get the imagery, but where is the city? Bankrupt. I thought the company had a dozen trading ships. Yes, at the bottom of the South China Sea. Why were all your trading ships in the same place? A business this big didn't have insurance? And yes, insurance existed in the 19th century. Why haven't you called the landlord to fix your leak? Do you own the apartment? Every no a fourth reprise? Yes, it's stuck in my head. Thank you. What are all these people doing here? Are they all presenting bank loan proposals? Did the 1800s not invent appointments yet? What are you looking at, Flop Doodle? Flop Doodle? <laughs> I'm going to call my late friend's Flop Doodle and report back. The deed entitled to my entire flotilla of trading vessels. But that's not your name on the title. That's William H. Nelson. So unless you told them your name was Mr. Nelson. Mr. Barnum. Which you did not. How did the bank accept this title? What did we buy with this loan? You got the loan bought the museum, changed the sign out front before you told your wife about the loan? Are you trying to get murdered? I'm a thief. A very good thief. I caught him nicking my watch. Well, how good of a thief could he be if you caught him? I don't have a son. The hospital record says you do. How did he get hospital records? And who wrote this? It's such beautiful handwriting. Every letter is so consistent that you could make a font out of it for a typewriter that will be invented in 25 years. You know paper is not cheap. Ripping it down is not going to make you any less unique. Synchronized banner unravelings? Now that's a show I'd see. Losing all your sunlight, though. I've seen the singing in real time, move in slow-mo effect before with Aladdin, and I didn't feel like it connected in Aladdin, but here it feels more natural. And I wonder, does it have to do with the movement? Aladdin was running, but here it's walking. Galloping horse indoors with no barrier from the audience? That's hazardous. Oh, that's more hazard. More hazard. PT, get insurance! Why'd they downplay the Siamese twins? They're the only ones on the banners they don't highlight or speak any lines, and literally the only ones I want to see dancing. Is Barnum the world's first troll? Should we all enjoy this slow-mo power flex by the tattooed man? <laughs> I love it so much. So this is merchandising, and they're selling beards? Mr. Bennett, that word you used to describe my shirt has a nice ring to it. So does Mr. Bennett have any legal leverage now that he's been given credit for naming the show? So you bought a zebra-drawn carriage, purchased and renovated a mansion, which, let's be honest, needed a complete overhaul. All before you bought your daughter some ballet slippers? You money weird. What's Philip Carlyle doing at a children's ballet? Probably forced to come, judging by his drinking. 
I've never seen so many little prima donnas in my life. Did they say prima donna back then? Prima donnas are the most important thing. Huh. Yeah, it's actually a mainstream derogatory term at this time. They got this one right. But my wife keeps bugging me about the many historically inaccurate light bulbs in your house. She'll learn to ignore them just like I did. Can I buy you a drink? How many drinks? And nine. Let's not forget the pre-gaming Carlisle was doing. He's not quite at lethal limits, but I am wondering how they're dancing so well. Maybe they're not, and this is all in their head, which is why Letty gives such a big laugh. Can you imagine these two completely drunk trying to dance on the stairs? And who is the real hero in this number? That's right, the bartender. You know who that is? That's Black Manta. Well, you got to see him with his big helmet on. What do you want to be when you grow up? A bearded lady. Where are these whispers? I hear them, but I don't see any lips moving. Is there a peanut gallery balcony or something? Is this billboard misleading? Makes Jenny look like a dancer, but she's a singer. Everyone is showing up and you're just now getting here? Oh God, I hope she can sing. I mean, yeah, it's a famous story that he booked her without even hearing her, but at this point, haven't you at least seen rehearsal? What should we have the opera performer sing? How about a pop song? Wow, Rebecca Ferguson sounds amazing. It isn't her, is it? It was sung by Lauren Allred. Rebecca Ferguson, Lauren Allred. Rebecca Ferguson, Lauren Allred. Why didn't you just cast Lauren Allred to play the part? Is she that bad at acting? I sometimes don't feel like I belong here. Mother. Hello, dear. Are these? Yes, yes. Those are your granddaughters. So you guys live within walking distance of each other. And you haven't gotten together? The men haven't allowed it, or y'all haven't met up when the men were away working? But yet Mr. Hallett wasn't resentful enough to show up to the meet and greet of the concert. Goodness, who has the energy for this kind of pettiness? It's enough time for us to have at least three drinks, right? First of all, three drinks before you perform? Was everyone a lush pre-Civil War? Secondly, did the performers really think they could just show up at the meet and greet? Why didn't P.T. have Jenny Lind watch the circus and then meet the cast after their show? Wait, what's Blue Suit's thing? Awesome mustache? Oh, he's got a third leg. I may have not noticed before, but with all the jumping in this number, that's all I see. Yes, the songs don't match the period at all, and it's all very disconnected, but it's a musical. They're in their heads, they're singing their emotions, but are they actually performing this song in their show? The crowd is singing with them, and I'm so confused, I, I don't understand. Did Bearded Lady invent pop music? And are we aware the little guy can teleport behind Tattooed Man, there is no one, and then, boom, general thumb. Why do you need to tour the country? Why didn't Napoleon march on Russia? Well, that is a question we could thoroughly discuss. Napoleon didn't have a 60-piece orchestra. Or that. You know you don't have to go to Russia for those. And there's a Napoleon poster behind him. Are we sure PT doesn't have ADD? You never had somebody look at you the way your parents looked at me. Solid point. Good subject. Let's explore this and pop song. Where'd the hoop come from? How did she sing through the tumble? I have physics questions. I'd like to think there's a rigger working in the background helping these two get together, but isn't the only one qualified her brother? And I don't think Manta's too keen on these two getting together. I was treated like dirt. My children will not be. You don't need everyone to love you, Finn. Just a few good people. But wasn't that the point? Bettering his reputation so his girls aren't ashamed of him? So there's wheel tracks from leaving, but where are the tracks from coming in? Is one of their servants a track coverer? Did these guys pay for a ticket just to come in and be racist? Yeah, that logic adds up. It is as though we have learned for the first time. What is she reading? The article only talks about how much he dislikes the museum. Also, if they're in Cincinnati, why are they reading the New York Herald? You came to America to do over a hundred concerts for a guy? The real Jenny Lynn did quit the tour midway through, but only after repeated warnings to Barnum to quit gouging prices and taking advantage of the public. Barnum did make inflation-adjusted over $15 million from her tour, and she did give all her money to charity. So, should we be peeved they made her out to be a homewrecker? You cleaned an already clear spot on the steps just to sit on your newspaper? Don't you think adding Cupid at the bottom is just sensationalizing the whole thing? The bank. They're evicting us. The circus burned down yesterday, and you already got evicted? That is a predatory bank. I never minded the risk, but we always did it together. You really think so? This movie has proven he never tells you anything until weeks later. Now I have questions about weight and top hats, and more importantly, where my favorite bartender is. 
So the performers want to rebuild, and Barnum leads them in a song about moving forward, and then in the middle of the dance, he just leaves them? If this isn't an argument for his ADD, I don't know what is. Are those Zac Efron's nails? Dude, quit biting your nails. I'm really sorry to disappoint you all. We've gotten used to it by now. <laughs> That's it? After the way Barnum's treated these people, all he gets is a light ribbing? All that's left is friendship, love. And your alcoholism? And work that I adore. You call drinking work? Partners. 50-50. Oh, come on, Philip. You got him over a barrel. Don't you know you could have gotten so much more? What will you be doing? Management. On an elephant? Did you know your family was waiting in the cold just so you could make your entrance? And shouldn't that elephant be at the show right now? Is it going to be okay in the cold? How are you going to get down? Mm, well, how are you going to get back on? And how do you valet an elephant? At the very least, you better tip big. And this is really the circus theme song. The musical was very long. This is my attempt to get it all out of my head. Unfortunately, this song backfired. Now it's stuck in my head, is tired. I'll move on, but the song will remain. But it's okay, because it's public domain. This is really the circus theme song, and we're gonna sing it all day long. Sing it out till you all get tired. Spread it around like a dumb brush fire.